Hey there guys, Black Panther here, welcome to another GTA Online video, and in this video, I'm going to be comparing the three highest end supercars in GTA Online, giving you the stats and figures and everything you need to know about each car. So from left to right here today, we have the Entity XF, which is $795,000, the Grotti Turismo R, which is $500,000, and the Adda, which is a million dollars. All these three cars are very similar in some ways, but very different in others, as I will explain as we go throughout this video. So I'm going to be covering stats and pretty much what I felt when handling the car, all you need to know is going to be in this video, so hopefully you enjoy. Now before we get into comparing these cars, I think it's wise to let you know of something that's quite interesting. In GTA Online, acceleration is absolutely useless and you may as well throw it out the window when looking to buy a car. Absolutely useless. Even if the acceleration is half of what another car is, it will not give you that much of an advantage if the other car has a higher top speed. When buying a car, make sure you look at the top speed as the most prioritized piece of information you can get for a car, because acceleration, even if it is twice as what the other one is, the other car that you're looking to buy, then you'll always find out that literally two seconds after you've got that head start, that top speed is going to fly past them because cars do not take very long to get to their top speed at all. To keep in mind, I've only actually ever got to 165 miles per hour in my adder online. And to get to 0 to 60 in the adder on the website, it actually says it takes about three seconds. So not very long at all. Now onto the information you're here for. The Entity XF was not my actual first supercar in GTA Online, like most other people did go with the Entity XF, because mainly the price, I think. I mean, they didn't have to save up for the Adder, they could get a supercar right now that looks great, it looks much better than the Adder. But I think I made the right choice in getting the Adder instead, because a bit of a shame, this car's not fantastic. Now let me get into some stuff that you need to know. So this car's grip. Brilliant, probably the best gripping rear wheel drive vehicle on GTA Online. You really, really need to push it to make it lose control, which is fantastic, but it has an extreme downside with the fact that it's quite difficult to get around corners at high speed. It involves a lot of braking to try and get into corners correctly. I mean, a lot of the time you're going to think, oh, I need to brake a bit more because I'm going to hit that wall if I don't, and just things like that. They, they kind of put you off this car but it is still a great entry, and I'll let you know if it's worth it throughout this video. Now, I'm about to confuse your brains with some information you probably don't even know what the heck means, but I'm going to do it anyway because I care. <laughs> so the Adder is a four-wheel drive car. It is the only four-wheel drive car of these three, and that gives it a distinct advantage in the handling class because of how the handling model works in GTA Online. Think of this, the other two are rear wheel drive cars, once you spin them, you lose control of the front wheels altogether, meaning you're going to have to completely stop, or try ridiculously hard to get the front wheels to cooperate with your commands. But because the Adder is a four wheel drive car, once you spin out you have control of all four wheels still, meaning it's much easier to just snap back to the way you need to be going and accelerate. Now I'm not saying it's impossible for you to correct a mistake inside an Entity or a Turismo R, but it's just much easier to control in the Adder. So the Adder technically has more grip, but it actually has less. If I was to spin out, I could kind of accelerate and correct it at the same time. It's a very weird model, but I guess if you try an Adder, you'll understand exactly what I mean. But to me, that is the best part of the Adder. It is obviously much better than the handling of the other two in my opinion and also the turning circle does seem much higher on this car than the entity although it can be less than the Turismo R as I'll get to in a second because that one's quite interesting. Hey everybody, let's point and laugh at the new kid for having an ugly back end. <laughs> You've got an ugly back end! Anyway, carrying on with the information you actually need to know, this is the Turismo R. Out of the three, it has okay grip. Out of the whole class, it has okay grip, which is not really good enough for me. Probably the worst grip in the class, probably the worst grip I've felt in a car 
that I would spend more than a hundred thousand on. Yeah, out of all the cars, other than the Carbonizze, that thing's absolutely crazy. Even with upgraded suspension, it's still nothing amazing. But it's still, it's acceptable for the class. I mean, it's 500,000, it's half the price of the Adder, so it's okay as an entry-level car, I guess. So let's carry on to the information you really need to know. So it's ridiculously easy to push out of control, especially in the low-end speeds. So when you're first accelerating, when you turn slightly, you've probably lost it. That's really how this car likes to handle. Uh, when it breaks as well, breaking into corners and trying to accelerate out, you will spin it a lot. It does get, take a while to get used to, but it's not absolutely awful. But if you can, I would highly suggest saving up for handling-wise for one of the other two cars. But that's not all the stats. we still got some information for you to come up, and these are the performance speed, so top speed and acceleration. So I'm pretty sure you want to hear those. Those are coming right now. Now then. In the olden days, we would have had to have taken these cars to a local test track to see the best in speed, acceleration, braking, traction, pretty much every stat you could ever think of. But due to the internet's invention about a week ago last Tuesday, we don't have to do that anymore. All we need to do is go to the Social Club website and we will see all the stuff we ever need to know about vehicles in GTA Online. Suggest so you go to that site if you're looking for a new car to buy. Now, as you can see, there are four categories to go off of, the speed, acceleration, braking and traction, but the only two you should actually pay any attention to at all are speed and acceleration. As you'll remember, I said the Adder has the best handling to me, and, well, I guess you could say overall, so the braking and traction to me are much better in the Adder than others, probably just due to the four-wheel drive nature of this vehicle. Now, the gold line on these stats means that it is the best in that category in that class. So in the superclass, the Adder has the best speed, the Entity has the best traction, and the Turismo R has the best braking. And as I said, remember, don't bother with traction braking. Acceleration isn't a major part. Look at that as a secondary category. If one of them has a higher top speed, then that's the one you will beast with in the class, I guess you could say. So let's give you the stuff you need to actually know. So the Adder, if you're a speed king, is the one for you. If you want raw speed and you love to scream power as you fly past people, then the adder is the one for you. If you like looks, but not so much bothered about speed, I would say the entity is the one for you. It looks fantastic, handles well, it's a great car overall. Though, strangely, the cheapest one of the bunch goes right in the middle, which is half okay and half God ugly, which is uh, interesting because I hate the back of this car and the rest of it looks pretty damn nice. I, I really like this car if you could replace the back with something that isn't that. Anything that isn't that. But carrying on without my uh, opinions here. Uh, basically, this car is a fast car, but it's not as fast as the Adder. As you'll see, the speed is exactly the same as the Entity, but the acceleration is slightly more than the Entity. So, I mean, it kind of makes sense that this one is in the middle. <laughs> and uh, overall then, I would say, so it goes Adder, then the Turismo R, then the Entity. So hopefully you found this video helpful to you. If you did, make sure to give it a like. Let me know if you want me to compare the top cars in any other class. This has been Black Panther, and all my stuff that you need to know will be down in the description. Thanks as always, guys. Make sure to subscribe for more. Black Panther out, guys. Peace. Now, thankfully, due to the invention of the internet, we don't actually have to drive these cars. <laughs> I, I can't, I can't say that with a straight face. <laughs>